Welcome back to the last episode for World 1 in the SMB3 Warpless Seminar series. This episode will conclude airship, boss pattern, hammer bro movements, and hammer bro item locations. Let's get the quick one out of the way. This picture shows two different color hammer brothers. Those hammer bros represent which space on the map you can get a power up during the hammer brother fight. Yes, the hammer brothers start in the same spot every single time you start a world. Their starting points never change. In world 1, the hammer brother will either move one space, or two spaces. Each move will cost you roughly 0.5 seconds of time, so ideally you will want to get as many movements of one as you can, but it's 100% out of your control. In 90% Warpless, you do 5 levels in World 1, which means you will only be fighting the Hammer Brothers on one of four spaces. If you notice, you can get lucky and fight the Hammer Brother with the item on your way to the castle. Regardless of what you do in this world, you have to fight the Hammer Bro before you do the airship. There's no way around it. Okay. This is when things get a little bit more tricky. Ideally, every airship boss has a set of patterns. No one really knows how many patterns or how many pattern variations there are. One thing we do know is that the airship is an auto-scroller, meaning we can do it in the same amount of time every time we do it. So let's figure out when the boss pattern timer starts. The reason we want to know when the boss pattern starts is so we can do the same thing from that point all the way to the boss battle and get the same fight every single time. Remember that getting the same pattern leads to perfect fire kills, consistency, and not a whole lot of pressure during a speedrun. So ideally, you want to find something that's the most consistent. The starting point of the boss pattern counter is sadly at the end of every level you play, which only matters from the last level in the world leading up to the boss. So let's put this in a better understanding. The boss pattern you get on the airship depends on the time it takes for you to travel from your last level on the overworld map until you enter the pipe at the end of the auto scroller. You got all that, right? The reason this becomes very complicated is because the last level can constitute as a Hammer Brother battle. The longer or shorter the amount of time it takes for you to get to the castle will change what type of boss pattern you get. So in World 1, with the way the Hammer Bros work out in the four positions they can be in, combined with the last level and the distance to the castle, you can narrow down to two different fire boss patterns in World 1. One will be slightly faster than the other. This is the easiest part to remember. If you fight the Hammer Bro after level 6, you'll be close to the castle so you'll get a good pattern. If you fight the Hammer Bro before level 6, you'll get a slightly different pattern. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get back to the run. Ideally, we want to fight the Hammer Bro after level 6 so we have a chance to get the Fire Flower from the Hammer Brother battle. The reason we want this is because once you beat the Hammer Bro and collect the chest, the time from collecting the chest and leaving the Hammer Bro battle can never be interrupted. And for any hardcore fans out there, you know that whenever you grab a power up, time stops for close to half of a second. Because of that uninterrupted time, the time stop from getting the flower won't actually apply. So you'll get to save a small amount of time getting the flower there rather than if you get the flower on the airship. When you enter the castle, it's easy peasy auto scroller. You just have to remember to get in the pipe as soon as possible to control the boss patterns. Here's what the boss looks like with the hammer bro after level 6. Here's what the pattern looks like for the Hammer Bro before level 6. That concludes boss patterns, the Hammer Bro movements, and the items you get from the Hammer Bros. It sounds so complicated at first, 
but you'll get the hang of it. Honestly, the hardest part is doing the auto scroller over and over again to better understand your movements with the patterns you're getting. Honestly, just copy me. Thanks for watching episode 6. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure you give me a thumbs up and tap the subscribe button to know when episode 7 comes out. We will be starting World 2. Also, if you would like to see some live action world record attempts, make sure to check out my live stream over on twitch.tv. Link will be in the description below. Thanks everyone. See ya!